we have been expecting a mask mandate here in the Bay Area for some time. UCSF's Dr. Bob Wachter predicted it, in fact, last Thursday. I think it's just a matter of days before uh, the Bay Area goes to a mask, mask mandate. Well, he was absolutely right, and today ABC 7 News reporter Stephanie Sierra spoke with him again to find out uh, what he predicts now. Stephanie, he's uh, has sort of a grim outlook. It is, Dan, a sobering one, too, that one of the nation's top COVID experts say we may never get to herd immunity. Dr. Wachter says we may need to have 100% of people fully vaccinated due to how infectious Delta is, and we know that's just unrealistic. As he explained, this war we're in will constantly be changing. It's possible we will never reach herd immunity. Reaching herd immunity symbolized control of this pandemic, a step back to normalcy. For San Francisco, that was reaching 75% of the population fully vaccinated. Uh, we are at about 75% of San Francisco uh, immunized, probably at about 80% with immunity based on either a uh, vaccine or prior infection, and we're still seeing a heck of a surge. UCSF's Dr. Bob Wachter says our fight in this pandemic will constantly be changing. The level of protection that we thought was going to be associated with herd immunity is no longer high enough, so that's a bummer. He says the need for ramping up vaccinations has never been more important, as we may always be fighting new variants. I mean, Delta was worse than Alpha, Alpha was worse than the original. It's not at all impossible, it's probably not even unlikely that we won't have a variant that's even nastier than Delta and begins to evade the vaccines. First, a mask mandate. Should vaccine mandates be next? New York State is now requiring proof of vaccinations for workers and customers for things like indoor dining, gyms and concerts. Do you think we should consider that here? I applaud what New York has done. I think it's it's probably the right step and we certainly should consider it. Wachter says it's possible we could reach a point where we need additional restrictions on bars and restaurants in terms of capacity limits and social distancing requirements. I think there's nothing that's off the table. This virus is so much better at its job than the original. SF General is now offering patients who receive the Johnson & Johnson vaccine a supplemental booster shot of Pfizer or Moderna. Do you recommend getting both or do you think one is sufficient? It's probably overkill. The benefits you get after that first booster after the J&J &J is so high that I think that there's no need to get a second, a second Pfizer or second Moderna. Now, to add to that, Dr. Wachter says UCSF Medical Center is also considering offering supplemental booster shots to staff and patients who receive the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, but says the hospital system is still waiting for federal guidelines on boosters to be released first. And, of course, that is expected to happen within the next few weeks. Live in the newsroom, Stephanie Sierra, ABC 7 News. Yeah, certainly some sobering things to think about here today. Uh, Steph, thank you.